Hospitals are in constant motion. Nurses, doctors, and technicians all moving in concert to care for patients. Countless times, vital information is exchanged between caregivers, and technology is called on to improve and save lives. But each patient's journey through a hospital is never the same. They arrive and move through at different speeds and under different conditions. What must be consistent is our ability to deliver the best care as quickly and effectively as possible. Caregivers must perform at a high level within their clinical units, and clinical units must perform at a high level with other departments in order to make the patient journey a positive one. That is the promise of clinical microsystems. Individual clinical units are the building blocks that together form our hospitals. They are the places where patients, families, and caregivers meet. As clinical units better understand how they provide care to their patients and what the needs are of other units, care excels, and the patient's transitions among units of care are improved. Well, very simply, a clinical microsystem is the smallest replicable unit in a health system that is organized tightly around a patient and what that patient's needs are. Microsystems occur together. The patient moves from one to another. Successful microsystems share the same characteristics, strong leadership and a staff focus. They are performance-driven, involving measurement and improvement, and they are patient-centered. At the core of a successful microsystem is information and information technology. Microsystems demand strong leaders who set a clear direction and are committed to moving the organization toward that goal. Microsystems, it's built into our strategic plan, it's built into our operating plan, and at every opportunity we try to uh, reinforce the importance of that strategy for the organization. It needs board involvement, it needs a continuous monitoring system so that the staff and physicians who are engaged have regular feedback on how they're moving towards a goal. It has to be driven by your mission and values. It has to be continuous so that it can't be something that just comes and goes. The people at the front lines are what make a hospital work. In a microsystem environment, everyone involved with the care of the patient must work in sync to ensure a successful patient journey the hierarchical structure tends to disappear because if you're looking at the, that microsystem, the physician, the nurse, the receptionist, the housekeeper are all part of that microsystem because that's the work unit. And they all of a sudden become partners and collaborators. I would rather surround myself with a team of just super people like we have here, from care management and nursing and dietary and physical therapy to all come up with a good plan rather than saying that I know everything about every aspect of the care, and I think that's something that's changing in medicine. Microsystems create climates that are patient-centered. The patient and the care team are working together. That's the real change. Well, I mean, the basic issue is that um, in a microsystem, the patients and caregivers are part of the same system. So it's not a matter of the providers coming together to do something for patients, but it's patients and caregivers working together. About a year ago, we began open visiting in the intensive care unit so that the families would have open access to their loved ones during this very scary and difficult time. We've actually begun including them in rounds, which includes the multidisciplinary team, the physicians, the nurses, the pharmacists. Other care providers that work on the patient are now directly communicating with our families real time. In high-performing microsystems, work is constantly evaluated, results are continuously monitored, processes improved, and the caregivers know in real time how well they're doing. We are constantly working on projects to improve what our patients need. And we do that from some data and we do it from some just-in-time information. We have a data board that's highly visible to our staff that they can monitor and become more aware of things that we're looking at such as patient flow, patient volumes, patient satisfaction, and it's a motivator for them to become more involved. Quality healthcare depends on high quality information, information flowing to and from staff. It's at the heart of a high-performing microsystem.
caregivers and patients are better informed, and that means better health care decisions are made. It is collecting meaningful information and um, doing it often in low-tech uh, ways, um, simple graphs and charts, and then setting goals for the group and looking at processes of care, flow charting, and talking about where are the uh, issues in, in terms of the handoff and the transitions, because we know that's where the uh, problems are. If our goal is to do better patient care, then we need to have information and use information technology as our patient's partner and our partner to empower the patients to have better care with the right treatments at the right time. Although clinical microsystems rely on improving processes and harnessing data and technology, they're really about people on the front lines meeting the health needs of patients and families. Healthcare professionals are very good at developing and identifying new skills, new knowledge, new tools. Um, where, we, where we struggle is implementing that, executing it. And I think that what clinical microsystem thinking does, if we organize around that concept, is give us a framework to really get the job done. Um, it not only focuses on individual high-performing areas, but also, also um, connects the dots between so that the patient journey is smooth and effective, um, efficient and safe. Sometimes the healthcare journey is a blur for both caregivers and patients. So much happens so quickly. The nurses, doctors, technicians are all focused on one goal, perfect care. Microsystems are an efficient pathway to better patient care, one care team at a time, one patient at a time across every clinical unit in a hospital. And that is a healthcare system that works for everyone.